Welcome to another episode of Super Platinum Achievement. I'm Austin. And I'm Mitch. And uh, Sony just dropped a bunch of news about uh, the upcoming console, PlayStation 5. So we're going to get into that for you guys, uh, kind of break up some of the stuff we saw and mm -hmm. some of the stuff that's going to be coming here in the next week. So uh, speaking of that, the Future of Gaming event, uh, Sony has announced, is going to be on June 4th at 1 o'clock Pacific time. So yeah. Wherever you are, just watch accordingly. I'm assuming it's going to be what, it was streamed on their... Uh, Facebook, YouTube, all of Sony's uh, social medias, I'm sure. I'm sure so. IGN will be throwing it up there as well. Um, it'll be easy to find. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. First time we've actually are going to see the PlayStation 5, probably, hopefully, in in person, in action. Uh, so get to get a little more insight on the games coming out and all that fun stuff. Something more than just the controller. Just the, the, the DualSense. The DualSense controller, which is looks pretty cool. And I'm sure we're going to see more info about the controller as well. Uh, if there's anything that separates it from other controllers besides what they've already mentioned. Uh, I mean, if there's senses, can we taste it? Is there a yeah. taste? Is there a taste function? Do the snozberries taste like snozberries? I don't know. I... The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see because uh, the applications for that could be really done really well if they actually, you know, developers go and use them. Because that's always yeah. the issue with these exactly. special controllers. And I mean, you look back to like, you know, the PlayStation's previous generations and stuff, they never usually fully used all the stuff, so we'll see what the PlayStation 5 has in store for all that. So. Yeah, if they make it easy for a developer to, you know, use those special features, then that'll be awesome, um, and we'll really get to see what it can do. Um, so on top of, you know, knowing that uh, this event is coming, uh, they did give us some tidbits of information here and there. They did say that the games coming specifically for PlayStation 5 will not be dual releases with the PlayStation 4. So that's, you know, next-gen lineup of games that we talked about in some previous videos that we're hoping for. So um, that's not saying that games won't play on both, because there are going to be games that come out at the end of the PlayStation 4's life that will probably dual launch to the PlayStation 5 um, that are third-party games. Um, but then the first-party games, like Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima, are probably going to just be PlayStation 4 titles because yeah. the PlayStation 5 is going to be backwards compatible with PlayStation 4. Yeah. So there's no reason to to completely do a dual launch and separate discs for yeah. something like that. So yeah, so it looks like PlayStation 5 games are only going to be PlayStation 5 and we're not going to have a like what Xbox chose to do. Right. If you buy the game on Xbox One, you'll get it on the Series X for free. Uh, it looks like Sony's not messing around with that kind of stuff. So, which in our minds is actually kind of a good thing because I think right away we're going to see the power of what the PlayStation 5 will be able to do. Because they're not mm -hmm. going to be held back by the architecture of the PS4. Right. Um, so we know the PS5 is infinitesimally stronger than the PS4. So I'm kind of really curious to see what we're going to be getting out of the videos this in the in a week and. Uh, what the games are going to look like since they don't have to, you know, I don't want to say it's a crutch trying to do for both consoles, but, you know, they know it's time to leave behind the PS4 and really go into the next generation. It's over now. So, yeah, absolutely. Sony's always really been about that generation cutoff where Xbox has always kind of blurred the line. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, and then another thing um, that they mentioned is that the, uh, the virus is not going to affect the PlayStation 5's price. We still don't know what that price is. I'm assuming they will talk about that on June 4th. But what, um, what is your guess that the price is going to be? I'm going to guess uh, $599. So you, you're launch. going, you're going, I'm going high end. High end. Yeah. I was thinking anywhere from $450 to $499. Yeah. So a little lower. Um, I mean, PS4 launched it through what $399, I believe, it was right at $400, and it was PlayStation so, 3 launched it. At four nine, uh, it was four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yeah. So yeah. PlayStation Three was more expensive. PS Four a little cheaper. Uh, so it's just I'm going to see if maybe they'll shoot that gap or, you know, it's. You know, I guess we'll find out in a week. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't want to spend that six hundred dollars on console. I mean that's you know at that point just you know, it's almost a computer. Yeah, exactly. But it's, it pretty much it's is. Half I mean, a PC with, cost. it is a good a, gaming PC. So. That is. Uh, and I'm just curious to see if their price is going to be, you know, affect what Microsoft does because we don't know the price of the Xbox Series X yet. Though. Right. Right. So. We'll see. I'm kind of curious to see how this works out because that was a big factor in last, the last generation is the PlayStation launched $50 cheaper than mm -hmm. the Xbox One, and that was really what carried PlayStation to the early victory on the yeah. last generation. So Exactly. And same thing in the generation before with the uh, Xbox 360 launching considerably cheaper mm -hmm. than the PlayStation 3, yep. and they won that battle. So, so uh, for a while, anyway, the PlayStation 3 did it up coming back and, uh, and outselling the 360. But at launch... 
um, the 360 did sell quite a yes. bit better. The Xbox One never came back and it sold the PlayStation 4. No, so, it didn't. Uh, Sony's still riding on that high, and hopefully they can keep it going. So yeah. we'll see. But Microsoft's going to have some punches for those too. So. Absolutely. I I'm think sh- they're both going to be great consoles, obviously, in their own ways. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely look out for our next video. We will be doing a, um, a video on our thoughts about their future of gaming event. So tune in, um, visit our social media pages on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Super Platinum Achievement. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys. See ya.